Hey guys, Craig Frost here for another Juicy Tuts video. Thanks for coming to this one. Today we're going to be looking at how to upgrade from Snow Leopard to Mountain Lion on a Mac. So here you see I am running version 10.6.8, which is of course a version of Snow Leopard. I haven't updated to Lion in the past, I've missed that one out. But um, today we're going to look at how to install Snow Leopard and how to upgrade. So uh, you need to go to the App Store and download this. It's the Install OSX Mountain Lion uh, app. It's about just over four gigabytes. I had a bit of trouble downloading this. It errored twice, but I think that's because the server was busy. It seems fine now. Third time lucky. And after it's downloaded, it will prompt you to start the install. But I actually quit that, came to the Applications folder, and made a copy of it onto an external hard drive just in case something goes wrong or in case I need to reinstall the operating system later I don't have to go and download it again I can just uh, run it straight from the other hard drive okay so uh, so once you've bought it and downloaded it it's about $13.99 that's English pounds I think it's $19.99 in US dollars download it open it up click continue of course I've read all of the all of the governs there yes agree and we'll agree again that we have read all of the Apple's terms and conditions and of course I want to install it to the only hard drive which is currently connected to my computer which is the Macintosh HD then you have to fill in your password and uh, then it'll just run it says about three minutes remaining that's not entirely true that's just the uh, setup bit once it restarts your computer which it's now gonna do I skipped I've, I've sped bits of this video up for you guys so you don't have to sit here waiting um, so at three minutes it'll start setting up and then it will restart your computer ready for the install which is what it's now going to do my computer is now about to restart and it starts up again and hopefully well I know it's already worked because I'm doing this voiceover after I've done the video but hopefully for you it will also start to install so um any moment now it's about to pop in and the color changes slightly there and there you go installing OS X onto the uh, Macintosh HD drive there now uh, I found that the time estimate here isn't entirely accurate it says about 34 minutes there no that's not true um, the first phase took probably about 34 minutes. It got to the end and it said about 2 minutes remaining. Then the bar jumped back to 20 minutes remaining for some reason. I don't know why that was. Anyway, so um, we've skipped it here. It's completed and it says that the computer is going to restart in a few seconds. See, So it took about an hour in total to get to this stage from beginning. So... Uh, there we go, and I've also skipped the restart because the restart took a long while for some reason. I think it's because it's the first time running the operating system. There we go. That is the uh, the new login screen on Mountain Lion. Uh, turn the screen brightness up because you can see my reflection. And so it's just been as simple as that so far. You just literally follow the on-screen instructions, wait a little bit depending on the power of your computer, and uh, and then you get to this stage and just type in your password and then you've got a few more setups to do with iCloud and um, stuff like that so we'll just go through that so you have to log in with your Apple ID I'm gonna skip this bit so you don't get to see my email address then you presented with more terms and conditions which of course we agree to we don't need to read them we already agree with Apple uh, so you tell it you agree then it asks you to set up your iCloud so you just log in with your iCloud account although you've already done that so you just click continue um, and continue and this will sync with all your devices your iPad your iPhone and your computer with your notes photo stream etc whatever you tell it to do now once it's asking you to set up find my Mac which is like the find my iPhone on uh, iOS so I guess if you lose or get if you lose your Mac or it gets stolen, in theory, you're about to locate it on a map. Never actually tried it, but I allow it anyway. Um, I assume you need some sort of data connection, so the thieves will have to be connected to the internet. Uh, Google Sync will be turned off, 
because I'm now using iCloud, fine, and I'll allow it to use my location of my Mac, yes, because otherwise what's the point? Okay, thank you. Your Mac is set up and ready to use, so we need to start using your Mac. And then you just click the button at the bottom, and uh, it'll bring you into your desktop. Looks exactly the same, right? But you've got extra features. I'll do another video on the features um, pretty soon. There's just a few things in my dock which aren't quite working, like the uh, Facebook app and Logic, but I'll have to sort those out. Uh, that Logic is an old Power PC version, which um, is no longer su supported on Mountain Lion. And you've got notes and reminders there from the iPhone. Uh, so here we go. About this Mac, here you get to see that I am indeed running version 10.8, which is, of course, Mountain Lion. It's hard to see there because I zoomed right in. So there you go. That's how to install it. Um, I'll do another review video once I've used it for a bit and found out, of course, uh, I haven't um, I haven't upgraded to Lion in the past, so uh, this is quite a big jump from Snow Leopard. Upgrading from Lion is virtually the same as this as well, so uh, hope you found this video useful. Remember to follow on twitter.com forward slash juicy tuts, and um, I'll see you again. Bye.